Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host Chris for CDB and we got a lot of stuff to do today so please stick around. A lot of topics to cover, like a couple of new channels I want to mention. I want to talk about the scented soldier shaving firing the first shot in the meme wars against yours truly. We'll talk about that and also we're going to talk about the shave here. Uh, so today's soap and the star of the show actually is Icoloniali or some people call it Icoloniali mango oil, and I've lathered off the puck there and put it back in its ceramic container. There's no need to tell you how much this costs or the ingredients because it's not available anymore. In my opinion, it is, for for my money, the best classic soap available. I haven't seen this used by the likes of Johan and so on. I know they like classic stuff. Johan, check this out if you can find it. Really hard to find. Um, Icoloniali Mango Oil. Um, really nice soap, nice scent, everything. We're going to be using our Rudy Vey, uh, which was sent to me by Tim Berger of Ohio many years ago when he was still the traditional shaving evangelist. Anyway, you can't see it, but it says Brush of the Gods there, and there's a Flor de Lis in there, which is very cool. This is Straight Razor Shave number, what are we at? 18, 17 or 18. I'll put the right number there. Dovo Best number 95 today. We'll see if we can escape this one without any nicks. Last time there was a little point on the edge that got me in a couple places, so we'll see if we can avoid that today. We may not be able to. It's no big deal. No worries. Just having fun. And by the way, I want to mention the reason why we're doing so many of these straight razor shaves is in order to develop muscle memory, and to become proficient at anything, you have to do it, at least me, I need repetition. And so I need to do it, you know, many, many times over in order to get the desired effect. This is Razor Rock um, Lime Pre-Shave. I'm trying to kill it and it will not die. <laughs> anyway, you have to do these things over and over in order to develop muscle memory. One shave every once in a while just isn't enough, in my opinion. And so that's why I'm using it repeatedly. Got the sea mister here. Thanks, Glenn Hilly. We're going to talk a little bit about the origin of misting today. And some of you might find it interesting. At least I hope so. Boy, this soap smells good. I can't really describe the soap. It almost has a chocolatey quality to it. I don't know if I have a so enough soap in my brush here to lather for multiple passes, but we shall see. This is a really good classic offering. The only bad thing is it's just, it's not available. They stopped selling it and it's crazy. I wish I had bought many pucks because you could get it in pucks. Um, so if anybody has one that they do not want, let me know. But anyway, outstanding, outstanding shaving soap. No question about it. Let's get some, let's get some moisture going here. Really, really outstanding classic soap. In my opinion, as I said before, this is just me. One of the best classic offerings. By classic, we mean things that have some age on them and many of which are mass produced, you know, or were. This one again, no longer made, um, but boy, oh boy. For my money, Absolutely one of the best products in terms of soaps uh, available and it holds up even today against the lofty standards these artisan wares, in my opinion, it still holds up. It's just an outstanding soap. And I know it's beloved by many. You don't see it often because, well, they don't sell it and people don't want to use it up. And I don't want to either, to be honest with you, but uh, you know. It is what it is. So let's get going here with, are we at 17 or 18? I think this is 18. So we're gonna roll on in there and just get going. Hope everyone is doing well today. I certainly am. I have no complaints, at least thus far. I uh, wanna remind you of the, uh, the fundraiser for Manny. And I can tell you right now, I don't have enough uh, moisture in this lather. It is too thick and pasty, which is my tendency. Um, but anyway, if you have not contributed, please 
consider doing so. I will post a link below. We have a ton of prizes. Uh, and so if you donate five bucks, you're entered for the raffle of those items. go. Tell you what, these straights really take off a lot per pass relative to, and I know I say this every time and it's like a, a broken record, but relative to DE razors, they just I mean, I was going over that cheek area there again, and it's like, there's nothing there, so. These open blades. I guess if you think about it, it's the ultimate aggression, you know? Uh, but they really do. A fantastic job of, you know, getting that growth mode down rather quickly. And uh, so, for me, I'm more or less doing two pass shaves and some touch-ups, and it's, it's just fine. And I've been finding them enjoyable because it's more challenging. You know, and sometimes you have to... Get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself a little bit. And this has been a challenge, but with challenges, you know, come reward. And it feels rewarding. And so that's often the thing the Stallion and like David Gonzalez talked about is they felt rewarded after getting a good straight razor shave. And I would be inclined to agree that you just feel, I don't know, I guess there's something sort of primal about using a piece of steel that's been sharpened on a rock, you know. Um, and the degree of difficulty is a bit higher than, you know, your DE. All right. So therefore you just feel a little better, at least I do. And again, for me, the way I learn is just repeating things and doing it over and over and over. And of course, that's the way muscle memory is developed. Again, at least for me. And so that's why you're seeing many of those. Don't worry, I'm not giving up the e-shaving. Now, have I been enjoying the straight razor shavers more? Yes, but I hope but you're watching and maybe considering straight razor shaping. Um, and if you do, just go easy. Now, I want to mention the dude of shaving, Gigi. He's been doing some uh, straight razor shaves. And it is like watching a trapeze artist or uh, somebody walking a tightrope. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it just, it scares me. Because it's so unconventional and he's whipping that razor around. But he really hasn't been cutting himself. So, I mean, what can you say? That is not a criticism. I'm just saying, I advise you, if you are brand new, and GG in his last video, the dude of shaving, I'll link his channel below, will say, don't be afraid. Just get right in there. I agree. Don't be afraid. 100%. But respect. Respect that blade. Because you can seriously... Uh, Cut yourself, you can send yourself to the emergency room. I mean, and that's of course is with any sharp blade or a sharp object. You can do it with the DE too. Look, I've cut myself with a, with a DE blade that actually needed stitches, but I didn't get stitches. So anything sharp, obviously, whether it be a knife or straight razor, DE razor, you know, there's some potential for injury there. So please um, just be cautious. I invite you to watch um, some proficient shavers, not me, myself not being one, I'm new. I mean, I want you to come and watch me to learn because I'm learning so you can learn with me. 
But I also want you to watch, you know, go out there and Google, or, you know, you're gonna watch The Stallion, David Gonzalez, Dave Card. I, I don't, I'm not gonna name every single straight razor shaver, but there's plenty of great ones, Caleb McCullough. Anyway, watch them, watch, learn. I would advise, just my opinion, learn the sort of classic way first and then maybe move on to developing your own technique. That's just my feeling about it. Could be wrong. However, you do it your way, it's your shape, as I like to say. Let me mention a couple of new channels here while we're ramping up for past two. New to me, Kai Triska. I want to show you these photos here. Doesn't he look like the Dean Cain Superman? <laughs> Kai Triska, very good straight razor shaver. I don't know him well, but I've seen a couple of his videos now and I like him. It's new to me, so check out Kai Triska, or as we're going to call him, Superman. Also, Zach likes to shave. I'm going to link his channel below. You're going to find that Zach has been around for a while, and he has a lot of interesting techniques. Zach was using a mister back in 2014 on video. So he was the first one, actually, that I know of using the mister. I'd forgotten about that, but Zach was actually doing it first. So uh, anyway, for what it's worth, if you care about that, Way back, Zach was using the old mister. <laughs> and he uses things like, I think it was the other day, he adds like a little mango butter and, and, and whatnot to his shaving mix, which is, I think, very unique. I don't think I've seen anybody else doing that. My hands are slipping because this iColonial is slick, so I'm using her. Dr. Matt shaving cloth here. And again, some people poo-poo these sort of things, but look, folks, use whatever helps to get the best shape possible. And sometimes you got to think outside the box a little bit. I would consider Zach, from Zach Likes to Shave, a very outside-of-the-box thinker as it applies to shaving techniques and so on. He does his own thing. He does it well. He just recently came back to making some videos. I think he's a nice fellow. And uh, I like the way he does some. So please check him out. He's just recently come back after a long hiatus. I will link his channel below. I know I'm going to leave more, a little more hydration over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And just sort of paint that in a little bit. Zach likes to shave. That's the second channel I want to mention. The third thing I want to mention is, in case you didn't see the head shaving video from yesterday. The Scented Soldier Shaves, Tim Delaney, has fired the sh first shots in the meme Photoshop war between he and I. Now this is in good fun. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. But uh, the other night in the Rich Man Group, he fired what I believe are the first shots by memeing me. And it's funny and, and I enjoy it. I don't want anybody to think that I'm angry. because I am not, it's good fun to me. I like, you know, it reminds me of the old rival we, we, we used to have with the Busta. It's just fun. So, um, Tim, Scented Soldier Shaves. I just want to remind you folks that he started it and uh, we will not go quietly. So, we shall retort. Um, but he start, he fired the first shot, just so you know. because this is liable to get awfully fun. <laughs> I 
Can't really see as well on this side. There's the blade off there. I know I need to get over there just a little bit. And then we'll do a, we'll line up the goatee and do just a little touching up. I want to thank everybody for, again, for their patience during these, uh, this learning process. I am learning. Caveat that many times. Because I don't want anybody to happen across this and think, ooh, you know, he must be a master straight razor shaver. Because I'm not. Just learning. And uh, hopefully, you'll consider learning along with me. But um, it's totally up to you. And I'm just in that period with, I think this being 18, that I'm just starting to sort of, you know, try some things and just sort of change things up just a little bit to to fit whatever is comfortable for me. And one of the things we've been doing is coming across here with a little bit of a cleanup pass just to tighten up the, the uh, goatee. There's really not much hair left on the cheeks. It really gets most of that, honestly, on that first downward pass. Um... Sorry for the long silence there, but it's absolutely required. It's just required to perform that task, you know. You know me. I don't like dead air on these videos. Um, because honestly, I don't like watching videos where there's a lot of dead air. I like to hear what people have to say. You know, the, the things they're sharing with me is, is a value. Mm. I went a little steep on that... Um, Right there, might have got myself. Yeah, I did. See a little line? Now, learn from that because that has always been one of my, uh, this has always been one of my problems with that side pass. When I put this razor to my face down there, that's like the fourth or fifth time I've done that where I come in too steep. You know, that's not going to be a big deal, but there will be a cut there. So it's one of those things to learn from. And I knew as soon as, soon as I did it, that I have done that so many times. And uh, we'll take a minute, rinse off. We'll bring out the styptic and take care of that. We'll be right back. All right, and we are back with our... Witch Hazel, which we're going to spray on. And I guarantee you, I call that a memory line. There will be a line there. You can't see it right now, but for the next probably week, maybe a little over, you'll see a little line there. And I've done that. This is probably my fourth time, I want to say, doing that. So please be careful. That's why you always have to be paying attention. I almost always cut myself when I bring the blade to my face, going in that very same this this angle and so it doesn't discourage me because i realize you know you're going to cut yourself a few times um and you're going to have some little nicks and so on and so forth don't let it discourage you it's easy to get discouraged and, and i share that with you because look i've done it and i will do it again i'm going to try my best not to do that same thing again because i've done it at least four times <laughs> so we're going to continue on though anyway uh, actually, other than that, what I call memory line, because it leaves a memory, apparently it hasn't left enough of a memory for me to stop doing it. The soap, phenomenal. Icoloniali, or Icoloniali, some people call it, mango oil. Uh, if you can get it, get it, because it's, it's fantastic. In my view, the best, what I would call classic soap. Rudy Vey TSC, sent to me from Tim Berger. Thank you, Tim, if you're still... Out there, I haven't heard from Tim for a long time. We use the Dovo uh, 95. And you know that Dovo 95, this is the third time. I, I put a memory mark 
On this side with the Dovo 95, like the second time I used it, I got myself a couple of times with the with it with the point last time, and and I got the memory mark today. David Gonzalez sold me that maybe it's cursed. I'm thinking maybe he put a hex on that, or no, actually it's just me simply not paying the attention that's required. Today I'm using Tob Sandalwood. It's nothing like the uh, Icoloni Alley in scent, but I just want to use it because I like it. And so, it's been a while since I've used the Tob Sandalwood aftershave, and I figure why not? And you bald guys never miss an opportunity to hit the dome with your aftershave as well. Oh yeah. Now we're feeling great. Apart from the, apart from the memory line, good shave, it can't be a great shave because we drew blood. <laughs> but overall, not bad and uh, we will learn from it. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning with me. Till next time, I wanna remind you, it's your shave, do it your way and God bless you all.